is the general um, uh, organization or I guess strategy that the U of L has taken on that uses many different strategies to combat food insecurity, um, including our little library food pantries, the ULSU food pantries, uh, Swipe Out Hunger, which is who we've partnered with. And I'm happy to say we're the first Canadian university to have partnered with this non-for-profit organization. And this is the first event we're running um, in collaboration with them. So that's very, very exciting. Um, if you need any food supports, go to ulef.ca slash um, agility, and there's a food for thought um, recipes there that are nutritious and inexpensive. Um, and, and I want to tell you a little bit about Umami as I've had the chance for the last three days to um, talk with Patricia and get to know her. So uh, they founded Umami eight years ago. Uh, Sven and Patricia are partners and Patricia was born and raised in Lethbridge and then went to the U of A to do her undergrad and then Germany to do her master's and PhD where she met Sven. So uh, now they're back at a umami shop for running things and going to teach us how to cook today. So that's exciting. Um, I Yay. believe a couple housekeeping things uh, before I turn it over. Um, about kind of like the gluten-free and the labeling and stuff. But without further ado, I will go away because I will certainly not be teaching you how to cook today. And we'll turn it over to Patricia and Sven. Perfect, thank you so much, Amy. Thank you guys. Thank you to the University of Lethbridge. Thank you to ULEF Agility, the SU, and all the working organizations that put this together. We were very, very excited when Amy from the university uh, called us up and said, hey, we have this great idea uh, because I did not know one out of four students food scarcity here at the university. So that's kind of quite sad for us to hear, especially from my hometown. But also at the same time, I was a student too, totally understand the whole idea of like cooking, eating nutritious meals, and just basically cooking, right? So we're really happy to be cooking with you guys tonight. You guys know what we're cooking? Do you know? Pad Thai. What is it? Unmute yourself. Let me know. <laughs> Pad Thai. Pad Thai. Yay. Pad Thai. Woohoo. Perfect. Yeah. So Amy, thank you for introducing us. We've been here for eight years now. Um, and we're really happy to be here. And cooking classes is something we've always done, right? Yeah. So, since day one and online for the last four or five years, believe it or not. Yeah. And so when COVID hit, online cooking classes were, were a great hit. So I'm glad to, to do this. So some housekeeping rules. If we could all shut our videos off, so then our main camera is here and then the overhead camera. So you can see how we're cooking, what we're doing and follow along. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to unmute yourself and ask. Or you can just put it up in the chat and Amy uh, will let us know if there's a question. Okay? That's right. Good. So tonight, what we're going to do before we start is we're going to unpack the kit. And then what you should have already will be like a pan or a wok. Okay. A cooking utensil, like a paddle, like that. You'll need some sugar, like two teaspoons or one teaspoon if you're just cooking for one. Oil, cooking oil. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. We like to use this particular oil, now go over that. And some garlic if you like. Cutting board, and we should be ready to go. And a knife. And Is everybody a ready? a stove. And a stove, right. <laughs> and some water. So uh, Angela, could we get you to shut your video off so that we can have the full screen on? Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was actually surprised when I moved to Canada how expensive the food is. Yeah, here. it's exactly. unreal. Like milk, butter, like the basics, the bread. So mm -hmm. yeah, I can totally see the little issue here. But uh, yeah, I think it's really easy and affordable to cook authentic Asian food. Yeah. So and you as a student can always come into a mommy shop, show your student ID card, and get ten percent discount on anything. Okay. 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 Let's unpack the kit to tell people or to show people what you should have. If you're missing anything, Not our Amy. Fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, let's get the cooking kit out. 
and then a little plate and then we yeah. plate it all and then it's easier to follow along. So you have a bag of veggies. So what we've done from the chef here at the umami shop, we've cut most things up already. But the things that you'll have to cut up will be chop the onions up and then the cilantro. So I'm going to put that aside because those need to be chopped. Okay. The next thing will be limes. I'll show you how to cut them. And then what you want to do is... Let me get that sticker. Oh, yeah. Sorry, the sticker? No, this one. Oh, the sticker. Oh, that's oh, that. Okay. Hunger. That pin. And we're just going to separate all the veggies because we're not going to throw them all in at once. And I'm going to show you why. Okay. Just going to put the bean sprouts and spinach together. So these are vegetables with more water in there. So when you cook them, they're just going to go flat. So we just want them crispy. We're going to throw them in last. So what you have will be carrots, cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower. That's a mixture. I'll leave that to the side like that. Okay. And then there's a bag in the back with lots of sauces. Yeah, cilantro is optional. So don't worry, okay? All right. So what I like to do is put another plate out like this. And I'll go over the sauces. First thing will be Milano sauce, which is a soy sauce. So if you're gluten-free, you'll need to use your gluten-free soy sauce. But this is not just uh, soy sauce. Oh, right. This is our creation here, Patricia's creation. So uh, like infused soy sauce, right? Yeah. So Italian grape mask. That's why we name it Milan. Yeah. It's and not just that there are more secret ingredients, but this is amazing yeah. with salads and everything. And it's a healthier sauce because a lot of people ask us, why don't you just mix it all together and just use one container? Because... When you put it into the wok, you don't want it to burn at one time. So now I'll go over that after here too. This is our pad thai sauce that's made out of tamarind and uh, chilies and onions. And then we have the sweet Thai chili sauce, which has the S on there. And then we also have, um, there's a one that says hoisting sauce. It's, that's actually oyster sauce. That was labeled wrong. So please make sure if you have... If you can't eat oysters or so, you'll have to omit that. Okay, so oyster sauce. Okay, it says hoisting on there for you. Okay, and then you also have something that says an F on there. That's fish sauce. I'm going to put that to the vegetable with the bean sprouts and spinach because we're going to put that sauce in last. And then we also have your lemongrass, which is the green minced vegetable there. Very, it smells very nice. And then peanuts which I'll put to the veggie plate too. Okay? okay. And I got a sticker. I believe we can end student hunger. Yes, we can. Okay. Everybody, so plate with the sauces and then another plate with vegetables, fish sauce, lemongrass, and peanuts. And then we have an onion. onion. And most important, the noodles. Hopefully everybody got noodles. Yeah. And your choice of protein. protein. So we have beef. This beef is sous vide, so it kind of looks raw, but it isn't. It's edible already, but we're going to fry it in the lemongrass just like the chicken too. So for those who have the protein like chicken um, and tofu, you'll cut them up, slice them very thin already, just like this, for example. So I have some chicken here, so if you can slice that up. And also the beef, I'll put that to the side. If you, you want to let us that. know about sous vide, what yep. it means? Maybe not everybody knows what it means. Okay. So in the meantime, if you can cut up the onions yeah, we do here. It all together. Yeah, Explain just cut up the, the onions. Explain okay. The sous -vide. So sous vide is basically this beef is very tender. Has anybody ever had our Vietnamese subs here? Anybody? Unmute yourself. Let me know. <laughs> so good. So, oh, perfect. Okay. It's it's fantastic. Yeah. Two. Awesome. Two. Okay. It's sub Wednesday, so $5, five for like a 12 a inch sub. So all of our meats that we cook here from our kitchen to our deli to everything, cooking classes, as you can see, is all sous vide. So what we do is we get the meat, we marinate it, then we cryovac it, meaning we take all the air out, like vacuum seal it, and then we put it in a water bath and we cook it at a specific temperature and for an extended period of time. So instead of like, yeah, exactly. 12 hours to 36 hours, depending. How are we cutting our onions? Can, can I cut it here? Yeah, yeah, you can just cut it here so they can see. Okay guys, now it's a uh, prep time. Oh, and lots of students here, so, and the videos are out. So we also drink some wine. Okay, sure, eh? sure. let me. Do, do you want to drink some wine? 
Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. What are the students drinking today? When I was a student, I was drinking a lot. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cut this in half like this, you see? Because I'm not going to use the entire onion. Okay. White or red? Uh, I'll like white. Okay. I'll pick the white one for you. Okay, perfect. So you guys see? Cut that in half. I'll only use half. So you see how this is still connecting it? We, wa we want to keep that, okay? So I'm just going to take the peel off. So most of the time when you guys are cutting at home or when the knife slips, it's because your cutting board or your, your knife is not sharp enough, okay? And oftentimes, your knife is not sharp, then it cuts you and it's really, really bad, okay? And also the safety issue here. So what I'm gonna do is cut that part off here, okay? All right. And what we wanna do is slice it just like that, okay? Thin, like that. So can you do that, Sven? See? I think I'm okay. able to do that. Because the reason why I keep that is so that it doesn't fall apart, so things don't fall apart and it's moving. So this keeps and it's easy to cut. Sharp knives are very important, okay? And the reason is if it cuts, it slices you, it's a, it's a clean cut, not a serrated cut. Okay. All right. I think there's one more person in the waiting room. Maybe let's admit. Him. Okay. Uh, there you go. Cheers. Left bridge. Cheers. Okay. So Sven can start slicing the onions. And you guys are okay? Everybody's following along? So do we do the entire onion or? Yeah, you can, it's only half the onion. So this entire noodle package is for like four portion or even five portions. It's a lot of noodles. So we're not gonna use the entire portion. What I like to do is separate it, okay? And I'll show you. So I am going to do maybe two portions today, you and me, Sven? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay. So I'm going to put the rest over here. So you can separate it into four, so then you know. So I, we like to do like 100, 120 grams. Okay. So this is how many grams is that? 454 grams. Yeah. So maybe like four, four to five portions. Okay. And just set it aside like that. Okay. In a bowl. Okay. So two quarters. Yeah. So you do it in four. Okay. So this portion is actually making two. So all of these sauces is for two portions, okay? So if you're only doing one portion tonight because you're at home and alone, just use half of all these sauces. So tomorrow you can do the another sauce portion or the pad thai. If you remember what you oh, did. Oh, look at Juliet. I always light a candle when I'm cutting onions and then I don't cry. Really, does that work? There's so many techniques you can cut it underneath, like warm water. Oh, really? Light Sven candle. knows it. I don't know. Okay. All right. Do you cry when you cut an onion? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. It's, it's All right. So talking. onions to the side like that. And What's then we're going to chop up the cilantro and the green onions. So they should look like this. But Sven's going to cut it anyways. Cilantro and green onions. So wash okay? it? Okay. Yeah. Wash it if you'd like. I like it. And if you have garlic at home, mince some garlic up. Okay? Good. You and want now to we're ready like to start. Slant it again? However you want to cut it. You're right. When I cut it straight, okay. I do <laughs> complain. Yeah. Oh, that's so sharp. Yeah, it's a very sharp knife. So have you separated all your, your noodles? Can we do all the noodles right now? Uh, if you have extra soya sauce, extra oyster sauce and um if you have extra soy sauce yeah you could do that no problem Excuse somebody's me. hungry can i ask a question yeah Hi, yeah here i was just wondering the pan needs to be hot for the noodles or no the noodles no we're no the noodles are just raw the these are fresh noodles so just leave it as is okay thank you okay no problem so in the meantime, um, you'll also need, for every portion of water, you'll need 
a quarter cup of water. So you'll you need, for, sorry, what did I say? <laughs> you said water, you need water for water. <laughs> sorry. I meant for each portion of noodles is a, a quarter of water. Today. So it's labeled oyster, but it's hoisin sauce, and then you use water. Well, you labeled water, it, not me. Then... Okay. So I have half a cup of water here, okay? So for two portions, half a cup. If you're doing the entire bag, you'll need a cup of water. Okay, got that everybody? Need water, okay. We're good? Can we move that out of the way? And I'm gonna start doing the walk here. We're ready to cook, okay guys? Do you, should I cut this cilantro? Oh yeah, for sure. Wherever that is. It's right there. Uh, how much cilantro? Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Cause I think some, for some, like a half a knob of garlic. Sorry, how, did you cut all of the green onion? No. If you like green onions, you can use it all. If you don't, you don't have to use that much. Are the onions going in with the noodles? Uh, no, we haven't done anything yet. The onions are on the side here. We're just prepping everything. So Sven has just cut some onions cut green onions and chop up the cilantro. So we are just prepping. The pad thai will go really quick. So don't worry guys. Okay. okay. So has everybody got everything going? Can I get a line? No, I still have to show them how to cut it. All right. Lime, the green thing. Everybody's got the lime? Oh, <laughs> okay. So what I like to do is kind of roll the lime a bit, like around there, okay? What does that do? It kind of juices, take all the juices, so when you squeeze it, it comes out better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the ends on both sides, okay? See, like that. Okay, so it's, okay, and then I slice it in half again. Make sure you slice it this way, okay? Got that? So now you have it in half and I cut along the white. So I'm going to use half. Okay. And then I'm going to slice this white part off. And the reason why we do that is that's why when you squeeze the lime, this part holds back all the juices. So, you know, when you're squeezing it and it goes out this way and this way and it shoots out a different way because mm -hmm. the lime wasn't cut properly. So now you have that part. Okay. I'm just gonna slice that. So there you go. Okay, good. So now we're done for two portions. Okay, you can put that aside. People at home with a chicken, you need to slice it very thin, okay? So if you like lots of onions, you can cut up all your onions, don't worry. We'll use half of the onion in the pad thai and the other half we'll, we'll fry our chicken and, and beef and tofu or whatever together. Okay, good. Everybody's following along? Yeah, just take a little break here. Okay, we'll take a break. Everybody needs to settle. All right. If you guys want to do the street, street um, style pad thai tonight, get two eggs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, two yeah. eggs, and I'll show you. Okay, we're good, Sven? We're good? Everybody's we good, good at home? Yeah. In the noodles right now? No. No, no. Guys, just leave it aside. I just portioned it, nothing. So now we're gonna start on a walk here, okay? So what you'll need is a walk. You'll need uh, a cooking paddle. We call it a bamboo ladle. You'll need a cooking oil. We love to use a high smoke point oil is because we bring it really up to temperature um, and we want the wok to be very, very crispy with all the veggies in there and yeah. Yeah, okay. lots of people use olive oil, which is not ideal no. because there's a very low smoke point. Mm -hmm. So don't use that. Yeah. So I'm just going to prepare all these sauces, okay? So why don't you take them all out of these stickers, okay? All right. So now let's get the wok or your frying pan. Turn it on high right now, okay? I like to use my oil in a spout bottle. We usually do have it, but I really wanted to showcase this cameline oil. It's very healthy because it's got omega-3 and omega-6 in there. We always cook with a cast iron wok. So we actually get our iron in every time. And every time you eat here, 
uh, you get. You, we cook it in a cast iron wok too. So it's gonna be a tablespoon of oil on high. And I like to add my oil in when the noodle is, oh, sorry, when the wok is hot. Don't add the oil in when it's cold. So now we have induction. You guys probably have, I saw uh, the electric and so on. So turn it on, get it warm. You see, if I put my hand right there, it's feeling warm. I'm gonna add the oil right on top, around on top of the pan or the wok here. So it glides quicker and easier. Okay. And have you guys ever had the problem of cooking eggs and it sticks? You know, or it just sticks? Yes, no? Of course, everybody got a sticky egg. Before. Sticky egg before. Yeah, Camelino, canola oil is okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay, Flora. So that's why a lot of people buy um, Teflon. And Teflon, yeah, Teflon is, is not good once it starts peeling, okay, guys? It's very unhealthy for you guys. So use um, stainless steel, cast iron, ceramic. What else is out there? all of these pots and pans there. And you only need to know this trick. Use a high smoke point oil. Use canola oil, I saw avocado, um, avocado. These are all high smoke point. We use camelina oil. Is because it's healthy. Omega-3, omega-6, and they're very high, high. We're trying to figure out the stick-free lotion okay. question, Patricia. Oh, okay. Jeez. So this is the, the reason. So when you guys take a shower, do you put lotion on before or after you shower? Unmute yourself. Let me know. Ladies? <laughs> the guys don't use any lotions. They're students. So. After, yes. yes. Okay. So, so basically the same. I, I turn the walk on. Yeah, I turn I turn the walk on. Never see this. And I open the pores. <laughs> and then when it's hot, then I put the oil on. And now you see my oil is a high smoke point oil. Mine's not smoking yet. I'm going to wait till it smokes completely around. Okay, so cast iron stainless steel is just like our skin. We need to open the pores. So it needs a high smoke point oil to open it to make it stick free. So now mine stick free, it's smoking all around. Okay, I'm gonna shut control. it off. If you have electric at home, you need to take it off. Okay, and how I test when it's ready is when I put my bamboo ladle in, it's sizzling, it's too hot right now. If I put garlic in, if I put anything, it's just gonna burn and it's gonna like jump at me. Which is if not you good. put your finger in no. and you burn your finger, it's no. also too hot. Sven, <laughs> don't say that. Okay. All right. So it's still sizzling. It's too hot. Okay. All right. So we are going to wait and then we will. Okay. It's still sizzling. So ideal uh, when it stops sizzling, you could crack an egg in it and it would be stick free. And exactly. the, eye would, the egg would like float in the wok on the side. Yeah. You can even do that now if you want. Okay. All right, good. It's not sizzling anymore. Okay. I'll use half of that onion in there. So we're gonna turn the heat back on um, to medium, medium. Okay. So just half of that. Half of the half. Yeah, half of the half. Okay. Okay. We haven't done anything. We just seasoned our wok, and now we add the first ingredients: onions. Okay. Onions. Okay. And now we're just gonna move it around. Sven, do you want to cook it? Yay. Okay. Sense is moving the walk around like that, or the onions around the wok. You have a little issue to <laughs> I know. Okay. And we want to sweat the onions. So basically taking all the moisture out so then your food isn't wet. Okay. So now you'll see slowly. Yeah, just move it around. Cook it. Okay. We don't want to brown it. Oh, you mean moving the onions around? Yeah, move, move the onions around. Perfect. Everybody okay at home now? Not yet. We're, getting, we're frying the onions. We're sweating them until they look People translucent. Was there a question? Yeah, we have some questions about, again, how much garlic should we use and, and when we're adding the garlic? A clove. So just mince it. Mince one clove for two portions. If you like more garlic, guys, go. you're more than welcome. Okay, so now your onions are translucent. There's only home office tomorrow. Use a lot of garlic. 
you have to, to see your doctor or anybody? Well, you have what a mask on, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, like, you're probably eyes getting foggy then. Yeah. <laughs> With all glasses. <laughs> okay. All right. So now your onions are translucent, meaning yeah. that it's transparent. We're going to add the garlic in now, okay? And Svens is going to move it really quick all around, mix it. So was the garlic included into the kit? No, it, that was optional okay. if people wanted that. All right, so now you're going to take the bag of veggies. We've separated the bean sprouts and the spinach aside. And on that plate should have the fish sauce, which is the F. There's lemongrass, which is the chopped green, and then the peanuts. And now we're grabbing the bag of vegetables, okay, guys? And I'm going to add the carrots in first. Is because the carrots are more like a root, more vegetable. root vegetables. Okay, go ahead, Sven. And Fry some that cabbage. around. And some cabbage, yeah. Yeah, move it around. Okay, and then broccoli. Okay, and then you're just going to turn your heat up a bit more because now you're slowly adding more things to the pan. So the temperature of your pan or your wok is actually decreasing. So you want to just turn that up. Okay, and now, perfect, Sven. And I'm going to add cauliflower too and cabbage. The rest of the bag. The rest of the bag, okay? Whatever you have left. Okay. Perfect. So now you are just sauteing the vegetables, okay, guys? It's very, very important just to not, not make it flat. We're just... Frying it up, Keep okay? working it. Yeah. So now you turn off your heat, guys. Should be good now. That's it? Yeah, that's it. And then move it to one side. Okay? Exactly. And then we're going to tilt our wok. Up. Okay? Can you tilt a frying pan? If you can't tilt it, just pour it out into, like, a plate or something. Okay? Okay, there's a little broccoli. It's okay. Put it over there. All right, guys. Everyone's Stop. following? No? Patricia, you have always a very high speed. But well, you're fun. cooking, not me. But you, you keep adding just okay, uh, okay. wait. Like okay. people need to get ready. All right, okay. Why don't you have a glass of wine? Okay, you guys. No, we're not adding any sauce to the veggies. Okay, Kiona. I just have the plate with the fish sauce, the lemongrass, and the peanuts on here. You're not adding anything. All we've done is fried the veggies in the bag that was left over in the wok. Okay. Okay. So usually when people order pad thai here in a shop, we have to get it done within like 10 minutes. So we're kind of slow right now, but it's okay. Okay, now the heat is off. So we've turned it off. You can either push it aside in your wok or take it out of the pan completely. Now this is a trick. A lot of times people come and be like, oh, I throw everything in, then I add the sauce and I mix it up. It's not going to turn out well. We're going to show you a trick, okay? First thing first, the Milano sauce, okay? Or your gluten-free soy sauce, okay? We're going to add that in. And the reason why we don't mix it all together and just hand you over a sauce is because all these sauces are carefully done. So when you put it into your pan, because your pan is still hot. So if I add in the oyster sauce or the sweet Thai chili sauce, it's going to burn and have like this burnt taste. So we add the liquid that is thinner okay. into it. So we're gonna add completely all of that in. Smell that Milano sauce, it's amazing. Yes. Just so you know, so you should get that sauce. Just, you have it. In, you have to have it in your pantry. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It's good as a dipping sauce and everything. Okay, so we'll put that in. That's two ounces of- Everything? Yep, yeah, everything. Okay, the just heat leave is it to the it side. Off. Okay, and we're gonna add the Pad Thai sauce next. Okay. Just on top? Yeah, just on top. The pad thai sauce also very runny. Yep. So now you remember how when I mentioned the wok is now decreasing in temperature? That's good. Because if we add all these sauces, it might burn after. Do you have so like a little chopstick or something? I, have I don't want to waste spoon. anything that's pretty big. Scoop it all out. Okay. And we and we did it this on purpose. So later when you guys decide to make it at home. You guys have all the sauces and you guys can put it all together there. Okay. Good. And the last thing, can you do the oyster sauce? Slash. 
Well, it says hoisting on there. So guys, it's actually hoisting. Oh, oyster sauce. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do here is we're just mixing the sauce in the wok first. Okay. Do not mix it with the vegetables. Do not. Okay. And it's great when you see all these sauces all separate. So you can actually make your own pad thai sauce uh, or your pad thai mixture here is because it's important to know. Thank you, Flora. That, that, um, you can have low sodium. I find that a lot of pad thai sauces have such high sodium or even high sugar. So it's, it's if you guys want to be more healthier or healthier, yeah. Okay. okay wait, we yes. want to go over the sauces again. Yeah. First, you added the Milano sauce. There was the big ounce container with the wrap sticker on it. Yes. Then we added the pad thai sauce. Pad thai sauce, like the runny yellowish looking one. Then we added the sweet chili sweet. sauce with the S, like a little thicker, and with then at chilies the and it? then at the end the dark looking sauce, the, the oyster, hoisting. hoisting, but it's oyster sauce. Okay. Okay. And now we've just mixed it in the wok. The veggies are still out of the way in the sauce here, and I now this is very important here. We we did the labeling, yeah, to make it a little more challenging for you guys. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the noodles into the sauce, okay? And we are only going to mix the One sauce question. into the noodles. Yeah, you had a question? Have we added the sweet Thai chili? Yes. The sweet chili sauce? We have, okay. Yes, we have. So again, Milano sauce, uh, Pad Thai sauce, sweet chili sauce, and then the oyster sauce. The four big sauces. What you should have left for container is the fish sauce, the little F, this, uh, the lemongrass, the peanuts, and then some vegetables and your protein. Okay. And now what we're doing is mixing the noodles. So it's actually going to turn like brown, you see? So the noodles should be mixed into the sauce only. You see that, guys, at home? Would it be easier to take the vegetables out? Why just leave it in there? Okay. Okay, there you go. And so you still have some sauce on the bottom like that? Do you want to mix it like that? Okay. Sure. Did we have a question? Does Emily, everybody got noodles in their kit and vegetables? Are we adding the water with the noodles right now? No, not yet. Okay, so now your noodles should be mixed well into so the sauce. Are you guys following the recipe card or are you guys following us? Because people are asking about water. Where's yeah, water? Yeah, we do water later. Okay. We do water later. So do you have the pan on right now? Like, is it still on? No, the it's off. Okay. It's completely off. If you guys have electric, you need to take it off of the cooktop. Because ours is induction. So it's like... If I put my hand here, it's, I don't burn myself. Like, do you? No, it's not. See? Mm -hmm. We can confirm it's it's there, but <laughs> you can touch it. Yeah, we save the protein for later. We'll show you. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna turn on the heat. But people got question, Patricia. You're always too too quick. Okay. You're too fast. Perfect. So Is we're everybody turn ready on the for heat? the next step for the cooking? I'm still adding sauce. <laughs> Okay. What? All right. Okay. okay. All right. So we're oh, gonna what, turn the so heat up. Wait, Patricia. What what sauce are you at? I just Milano did. sauce, patai sauce. Yep. Sweet chili sauce. Yep. Oyster sauce. Four right, sauces. That's it. Mix it all up. Okay. Put the noodles on. Move the noodles in the sauce. Fold it. Make sure the noodles suck up all the sauce. And as Patricia said, do not let the vegetable touch the sauce. Just kidding. Okay, now let's turn on the heat. Yes, okay, we'll turn on the heat. You're gonna mix everything together, Sven, the veggies and the noodles. And when you hear it start crackling like that, I'm gonna add the water. So for two portions of water, or two portions of noodles, I have half a cup of water. Okay, so you hear it sizzling. It's sizzling. I'm gonna turn, Pour it around, okay? Around the side, okay? 
What's the yes. heat level? High. High, and you you see the motion that Sven's doing? You have to move it that way. It's kind of tough for me to cook with that equipment. Do you have something else? No. Do you want me to cook, take over? No. Okay. So you have to have this motion where you're mixing very well. I'm not usually cooking with chopsticks. So you have to with these rice noodles. It's really important. Because if you let it sit on the bottom, it's just going to like glob. Like I, I would like to keep it used like a spoon. Some a sort. spoon? Here is a spoon. Where did you put the spoon? Because the, the bamboo is not very nice to... Here, then use the... Yeah, you know, to lift up the vegetables. Okay. I think that's better, guys. Okay. For me, no anyway. Yes. You're working. Right. So hard. I think you deserve maybe a, a sip of wine while we all catch up over here. Okay, okay, here. Here you go, Sven. So I don't <laughs> want to drink by myself. Like, who's with me here? Anybody else? We're getting caught up. Any drinking yeah. games? Like, what's going on? <laughs> so lame here. Sven. <laughs> Just kidding. Just right. kidding. Okay, so now the noodle texture is... Latin. You see how your noodles are cooking in the water there? Okay. So now you just turn your temperature down a bit to medium high. So my, ours is zero to 10. We have it now at eight. Okay. Yeah, That's just good. mix it. Okay. And now you got to get your sugar here. And for each portion is a teaspoon. So we're going to add two teaspoons and mix it all around. And the reason why we use sugar is instead of MSG, is now you're going to have this nice glaze. Okay, you got to mix it up. So you see how Sven's doing that? You know, you got to mix oh, the noodles sorry. out. Yeah. Push it out, pull it out like that, okay? What does long noodle means in Asian culture? Long Pressure? noodle means long life. Oh, look. Okay. I'm oh, going to turn Perfect, and yeah. Go. Okay, now sugar. And now we're going to take the fish sauce. And this is for... The saltiness, the nice you know saltiness. What? And I'm like you. I said, eh, fish sauce, I'm not a big fan. But cook it in and you're going to like it. Okay? Just do it. Just for today. You okay. have to do it. It has to be the authentic way. <laughs> you're not so going to taste it fishy. It's going to be for the umami taste, the fifth taste, the deliciousness. So please add it on. Okay. So I just drizzled it all around here. Yeah? It's a salty taste. Oh, yeah. Here's my question. What does umami mean? Does anybody know? What does umami mean? What does umami stand for? Okay. Anybody knows? Okay, perfect. Wait, Patricia? Yes, yes, yes. It's the fifth taste. Look, see? It means yummy. Yeah. It means yummy, Woo! the fifth flavor. Yeah. Good job, guys. Okay, so wait, Patricia. So yeah, for everybody, umami means combine different ingredients together to elevate the taste. Perfect. Like, for example, pasta. You add pasta sauce. Yummy, right? And then you add parmesan cheese, so you level the yumminess on top. So elevate. The fifth taste. Elevate. Elevate. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So this is what umami is all about. Okay, guys. Last thing is now the bean sprouts and the spinach. Okay. Now mix that up. And while Sven's doing that, you're going to mix it up. You got to mix it all up together, Sven. <laughs> okay. And now you can just shut your heat off. Just want to get it all like sorted out. It's kind of clumpy. Oh my god! So here, I'll show you how to do it. Here. Okay. No. okay, Patricia takes over. Okay, so now you're got. You're, we're gonna cook the chicken and all that. So you guys have cut all your your chicken, your tofu, everything up. Okay. Leave that to the side there. Good. And another. The heat one. is like on low. Yeah. So I'll move this over so people can see it better. So I'm just gonna get a new pan or wok out. And I'm gonna put some oil in. So it's hot already here. Add that in. And then you we're just gonna fry the chicken. This is crunch time, guys. It's like 10 minutes left before the exam ends. You have to perform right now. So come on, you gotta do it. You have to do it. Crunch time. Get everything into the wok frying pan. No. Except everything's all done. The protein. Okay. Separate. So now did I put some pressure on you? Sorry. You only got one pan. Okay, oh. no worries. Just put all the noodles, separate that into two two plates or however. If you're doing one portion or two plates, just put it on a plate. Don't worry. It's going to keep warm really quick. Okay, so the same idea. I put it in the wok 
when it's hot, the oil. And I'm just going to wait for it to heat up and smoke evenly. Okay. We talked about this, remember? And now it's smoking evenly. Hopefully you made notes. Shut it because off. Because tomorrow is the exam. We're going to ask that question. And now it's When sizzling. you put the lotion on, before or after it, you shower. Yes. Yes. Got that? Okay. So if you still have some onions left over, do you want to put the onions in, Sven? Yes. The half of the half? Half of the half, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. I know. The Is it jumping are... at me? Can you show me? It's no, not it's, sizzling. It's not so sizzling. I'm safe to do this. Watch this. So don't throw it in there, though. Put it in there. There we go. So? It's kind still, of jumpy. But it's not as bad. I mean, you're not losing your highlight or anything. If you like garlic, you can put that in there, too. I so love it. Okay. Smell of fried onion. I don't yeah? know. Okay. Something special. All right. So now you're going to take your lemongrass. We're going to add it all in there, too. Everything. Everything. Lemongrass. Okay, guys? Onions, lemongrass. And if you like garlic, you can add garlic in, too. I like garlic. Got Beautiful that, everybody? Garlic? Have you put the beans in? The bean sprouts? Yes. The bean sprouts are in the noodles over here. Okay, so now I have onions and lemongrass. Fry that around. So I'm going to add the garlic now. Wow, the okay. lemongrass smells amazing, doesn't it? Okay, the, yes, exactly. And then I'm going to add the chicken now. So this is our lemongrass chicken. chicken. What else was the option? Beef? Uh, beef, and? beef um, tofu. So the tofu, you can slice it and then fry it up. Yep. Same yeah. like what we're doing right now, and you're just gonna fry it and cook it. So the beef was cooked, the chicken as well. What, but the beef you will add in here too. So if you add beef right now, where's my beef? Your beef is right here. Yep. The sous vide beef. Sous vide beef. So you can slice the beef too if you want, or you can keep it that size. Go ahead. And the chicken we're gonna cook up really quick here. And let's have a little challenge. So, which student comes? from the farthest place the furthest place furthest yeah furthest who's all here so if you're from coldale you're probably the closest <laughs> if you are from calgary not bad if you are from manitoba india oh india hi is there a name of the city? PI, or we always wanted to go there, right? Yeah, I've always wanted to go there. Bulgaria? Bulgaria, oh. cool. I know, okay. Grand Ferry. But not Ontario. Poland. Poland. Oh. Yakshimash. Yakshimash. Chinkuya. <laughs> Chinkuya, yeah. <laughs> what else? Halifax. Halifax. Cool. Like it. Okay. Brazil. Brazil. Oh, cool. we have this, uh, what is that cheese bread called? The um, powder queso. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Good name. Oh, yeah. Hello. Vigates. Vigates. Oh, okay. So we're frying your chicken. So your chicken. And you have some method. Yeah, good. yeah, very good. So there you go. So your chicken should be cooked like crisp. Oh, the gecko delicious. Mm. Okay, I just want to make sure the chicken is yeah. cooked. I'm going to chop up some beef too. I cooked it, I sliced it, and I added in there too. Oh, we're doing both. Nice. Yeah, we'll do both. Hey, my okay, pad thai so is still hot. I think in India is kind of... Need more time for the chicken. No worries. Okay. So in the meantime, I'm going to plate. We're ready to okay, you plate. Wait. In, you I think, I think India is the, the winner. What do you, is what that do you think? the furthest? Is India further than, um, than Poland? What, or yes. No, Poland. <laughs> Poland? Uh, yes. You have to keep going. Really? Okay. I don't know. If you go the other way, right? Other way, there's the Pacific hours? Ocean. That's big. That's a big. But how many hours is it a flight to India? How do you do the tofu, Patricia? The tofu slice it up just like beef or chicken, and fry it in like how we're doing everything. Sorry, we ran out of tofu. But I mean, if you uh, choose tofu, then you probably had tofu before in your life. So do it how you think you like it, like cubes or slices. Or... Yeah, cube, slice, whatever. Do not leave it in one piece. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're already plating? I'm plating just one one portion. You see we have another portion here. You have your chopped 
onions, cilantro, and peanuts now, okay? The chicken good? Chicken should be good. Okay. Yeah, it's good. All right. So now I want you to put some some of it on one side for me. Do you want a spoon? Yeah, I like spoons, you know? Yeah. 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 You do it. Like there this? You go. Yeah, just on one side. Perfect. Like there you go. That's a lot of meat. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then what I like to do is green onions, cilantro. Oh, the X, guys. This is a special oh, yeah. at the end. We're doing okay. a street style. We just want to finish the Peanuts. original stuff. And limes. Can you show me the lime? Or get me the lime? Lime. Lime. On the side. Yes, limes on the side. And now you are ready. Okay, this is the original pad thai, guys. Got it? All right, so who wants to do the street style? If you still have fish sauce, you... Okay, just, just add it us. at the end. No worries here. We cooked it in with the lemongrass before the lemongrass. No, not the lemongrass. With the, the pad thai. Earlier. The pad thai. Yeah. If you still have it, it's okay. You can drizzle it right now in your pan before you serve it. Okay. Street style. Street style. Two eggs. You, you can crack the egg for me, sorry. So now you have to pull out your third frying pan? No, you can use the same frying pan. But I just, because you still, you're still working. But be using three. But okay. Can you whip it for me, Sven? Yep. Are you in a hurry? No, I just want to show them so it doesn't stick Wait, here. Well, close to 8 o'clock. I think we're doing pretty well. We're doing very well. So. Hey, now we remember I turned on the wok really hot, and I'm going to show you it's not going to stick here. Okay? I smoke point oil, turn it hot, and we are good. Don't worry. You still have the fish sauce. Just add it to your, your pad thai right now, and then um, serve it. So like the eggs, what we're going to do is now optional. We're doing like the, what is it? Street style? Street style. Before we did the beach style, now we do the street style. Okay. The beach style? No, what? Oh, okay. That way you're saying. Patricia never get my jokes. <laughs> never. Okay. So for one portion, it's two eggs. Okay. So if you need both of them. Oh, your eggs on the floor. Oops. Okay, so now it's Hey, there's the two-second rule, so get it up pretty quick. It's still good, okay? Two seconds. <laughs> oh, five seconds. Okay. Let's we'll stretch it tonight. If you have a little green onions left. Give that Any that salt, nice. pepper, no, flavor, no, no, spicy? Cause, no, because the pad thai Usually is already... you can do the pad thai in spice levels. Spice levels. Yeah, you so can add chili. So it's not spicy at all. Yeah. Okay, so if you want, we can get chili pepper out. So if you want it spicy, just... Uh, chili powder, chili, chili powder or sriracha. Okay, and now my pan is hot, smoking. Can you pour it in there, Sven? Okay, we're doing pour street style now. Are you guys ready? Who's with us? How many? One, two, three. Pour it Some in. Some people are already eating. Just pour it in. Okay, I'm doing it. Okay, perfect. We're doing an omelet, right? Yes, we're doing an omelet. And I am just making it into an omelet. And you see how it's sliding around very nice. Okay, Flora's in. <laughs> Okay, four is in. Okay. If you want to see pictures later, just so you know. Evidence. Turn on your video after. We have everything in writing. Okay. So I'm going to get it to cook. You still have one portion left. This looks like more than one. I know. You, you see, this kit makes a lot. So this okay. looks, just split it in half. Do you want half, half of, of the half? Yeah, and then we have another half for... I don't showing it again. that portion over there, you see? I know. What do you mean? Just don't put everything in it. It's too much. Okay, so add some meat in there. We add some, your choice of protein in the middle, like this. Well, however, yeah. It's too hot, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to add it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're adding everything. Update. Okay. All right. Can you grab me that big on plate? On one or side, so leave some yeah. omelet on the other side. Can you grab and me And do you see how the egg is moving in here, guys? And it's not sticking. Do you see this? Okay. It only works with a good lotion, okay? <laughs> okay, you're hungry. We're ready. Okay. So now I'm just going to go like this and wrap. Street stuff. Oh my God. Okay. I have the perfect finishing. What? Sriracha sauce. Okay, go get it. So now cilantro, if you're a cilantro fan. And now green onions and peanuts and lime. Oh, you did this already? Oh, yeah. I thought you're doing sriracha and then the top. Oh, you can put it on the side there. Sorry. Okay, this is like. 
I would call it food porn. It never ends. You want to make it like awesome, amazing looking mm -hmm. because the eye eats. Put it on the side here. Yeah. No, I do it here. Okay. Oh shit, it's not a nice squeeze bottle. Anyway. It's okay, I can put it. It looks great. And if you want picture. a lime? Yes. Can you show the other plate? Yes. Okay. This is a street style one. And this is the beach style. Beach style, I guess. So you have your protein beef, chicken, or tofu. I like the street style because this is the most popular one. This one is the one we serve here because oftentimes people don't eat eggs, so we don't add eggs in. But you Bola. guys should. So bon appetit nice. or svadi kai. Thai. Okay, so how do we eat it? Do you want to show how we eat it? Let's squeeze the yeah. lime and then tasting mm -hmm. it. Yeah, sure. Okay. So if you guys want to show your videos, we would love to see how it all is. Yeah. Nice. So in Thailand, guys, they do not use chopsticks. They actually use just utensils, just like in Western culture, is because they still have the queen, the king, the whole dynasty there, that they became very sophisticated and yeah. decided to just only use utensils. Okay, oh, yeah. wow, guys, let's squeeze the lime on there. Okay, that's important now. So yeah. squeezing the lime. You see how over. it's just squeezing in one direction? You know yeah. how usually when limes, it goes... The swing Should in that way, yeah. Okay, let me squeeze that. Uh, I'm gonna squeeze the lime on the street style when I cut it open. Okay. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it here, Sven. I mean, it looked amazing. It really does. And, and the it's good still piping and the good pad thai should be moist. It should the be like, should be moist. Yeah, like not too saucy. So I like to take a bit of everything. How's it? Mm. Mm. Very good. Very good. Like the meat with um lemongrass. How do you say in Polish? Very good. Bardzo dobrze. Bardzo dobrze. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody did the street style? Like this? Oh yeah. Umami shop did it. Oh, oh real umami shop. Sven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, Flora. Yay. Yep. How's everything tasting, guys? Would you do it again? Come on. Unmute. Let us know. Easy. Yes. <laughs> yes. You should tell us how you say bon appetit, good appetit in your language. I'm sure there's lots of like. In Bulgarian. Michael likes sriracha sauce. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in Bulgaria, they say this is, is yes and this is no. Right? Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right this on. is Jeff's kitchen. Yes. Show us. Wow. Look, Jeff. Awesome. Yay. Swadikai. Come. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Anna. Great. You guys got to taste it and see. See, it tastes better when you make it. Mm? <laughs> yeah? Isn't it easy? All right. Do you want to try this one? Yeah. Yeah. Cut it open. Oh, you want to... However, yeah, half? you split it in half. No, you wanted to... No, no, no. I just wanted to... Yeah, when you split it in half with the noodles, you can you can do that. Uh, knife here. here. Yeah, I have a knife here. You have a knife? This is like a massive portion. We That's a massive half portion. of the noodles, guys. <laughs> Dear, can you imagine this? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. Slice in half. Okay. You want to squeeze the lime in? Yes. Sure. Why well, want my fork? Some. Like squeeze it in there. There you go. Perfect. Nice. I like the lime and the peanuts together. And you see how it's still steaming? Like that. So are we doing this again? Are we doing it again? Come on, students. We what should do, you guys do that like, like every month, right? Yeah. Affordable, amazing, authentic food. What else What's would you do as a student? What is the next meal we should try? Oh. Butter chicken. You guys like butter chicken? Butter chicken is amazing. It could be vegetarian too. And everybody's like, yes. Slow down, guys. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> no, butter chicken's good. Kids, the students, they would love it. Kids? Kids. I call them kids because I'm older, much older. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Butter chicken? Yes. Shaylin says yes. Yeah, we can do vegetarian. Oh, and then it's we no can problem. do like um, 
the naan the bread. naan bread we'll show you yeah i'll show you how to make naan bread super easy super simple yeah okay. very yeah. easy guys the butter okay. chicken wow. is fantastic yeah. and Anna's in. thanks flora david wants risotto how about matthew yeah look at that <laughs> How about Maddie? I see just a empty kitchen. <laughs> empty kitchen. <laughs> oh, there you go. Burn down kitchen. <laughs> it's so good. How is it? It's really good. I tried one street style, one the other way, because I'm just oh. making two for now. Wow. And then I'm going to put Show the other in a box style. in my fridge. Well, it's over there. It's already messed up. Did the egg work? You know how it's like slide like that? Yeah, I didn't get enough oil in the pan first, and then I like cursing myself as I was doing it. So I was very happy the camera was off because this was this was a little bit hectic. But I would love to do it again. I'm definitely gonna. Yeah, do yeah, it. yeah. You still have. Look at all the noodles left. Look at that. That's like four portions for me. Like this is a lot. <laughs> what do you guys think? Get give us some feedback. How it's so good. Portions? I wanted two portions, and this is the leftovers. <laughs> I think there's no more hunger in Lethbridge. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yes. Swipe out hunger, guys. Perfect. Okay. Good job, Patricia. Perfect. Thank you. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your video. Thank you for cooking with us. We really enjoyed cooking with you guys. Look, I got Sven to join me. Help it me. was actually last second. I'm yeah, I joined you <laughs> yeah. just for the fun of it. Perfect. So then I wouldn't be like so quick and, and, and so oh, on. Oh, she's so pushy. <laughs> you guys are I'm so glad you're fun. not my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, awesome. Everybody got a job here. Yes. So we will leave you guys. We will let you guys enjoy. I'll leave it with Amy. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll see you all in store again. Don't forget the... Wednesday Stay. sub days, $5 sub days. It's really great for students. Very loaded with lots of veggies, very healthy. All of our meats and veggies are made in store. So it's not um, like pre-made somewhere and, and put together. Okay, guys? All right. Okay. Well, Thank out. you so much and have a great evening. Thank you, guys. I just want to give you a big round of applause from everyone because sincerely, we could not have done this without you. Um, I appreciate this platform and it was so fun. I hope we can do it again. And and thank you to obviously the ULSU Pact or us and Agility for funding this. Um, the the Vietnamese subs, I've had umami three times this week, so can't can't blame me. But um, I hope you guys all have a good night and thank you so, so, so much again. I appreciate this tenfold. Thanks, Amy. Thank you, Amy. And yes, we do make veggie subs, tofu veggie pulled pork made out of jackfruit too so and we also have the uh, beef lemongrass from, oh, the with the impossible poof. burger exactly okay so many options enjoy see you have a good night guys thank you good night thank you and of course if anyone is missing the social aspect. You're welcome to stay and have dinner with us, <laughs> no matter what that looks like. So anyone that wants to stay, feel welcome to. We'll have dinner with you, Amy.